I'm getting uh, the closet <laughs> on my guy's recommendation over here. Yeah. I like this cover, old uh, Wildcats homage. And then we're getting some Avengers Forever. Okay, sure. I don't know what else. We'll see. Oh, yeah. Nice House on the Lake, yeah. too. That's a good one. This is a great book. Yeah. Um, just a very different story. Well written. Good art. Right. Definitely cool. Sometimes I just like a cover. Sometimes I want a good story. But right. good story will keep me coming. Cover I'll buy just once. But good story will keep me coming back. Right now, um, Nice House on the Lake is definitely one. Department of Truth. Um, what else am I reading? Ice Cream Man. Ice Cream Man's always classic. That's pretty much it. Maniac in New York. That's another good one. Saw Doctor Strange. It was good. It was good. Not the best, but it was good. Definitely solid. Some surprises. We'll see what Thor brings us next month. I loved Spider Man before that. I saw Morbius too. That was not good. <laughs> not good, but not the worst. I sell these shirts too, for the record. <laughs> the Daily Bootkle on Instagram. Everybody got that? Shout out to Gem Mint Collectibles. He loves wearing them too. <laughs> well, you never know what you're gonna find here. I was out X-Men 94 is what I'm looking for. He knows that. Um, that's about it, really. Everything else I have. Whatever catches my eye, usually. That's a classic, always. Then the Todd McFarlane Batman. One of the best yeah, era covers yeah, ever. Like Forgot to fill in the yellow right, right there. Nothing. And the moon in the top left. You know, Alright, Janet, instead of yellow. Right. <laughs> classic. Yeah, no problem. Yep. First appearance of Morph, the worst X-Men ever. That's a classic cover right there. You never go wrong with Mr. Sinister. Love in the shirt. Yep, love in the shirt. Those shirts are all homemade by, well, all. I plug myself. Oh, did you plug yourself? Okay, now. good, good. Oh, that's a nice one, too. Yeah. Like those shirts are great i mean yeah they may not be licensed but uh um it is it is what it is you know it's uh disney's got enough money yeah right that. right right you know <laughs> it's not like it's not like this guy's making up a hundred thousand of them and and you know and and making a bazillion dollars off it you know it's uh um but yeah i actually have i actually own two of those i own two of those shirts um, unfortunately, I bought a. I bought them. I thought that I bought them a little too small, so they they we needed to get some fatter sizes so I could so I could actually wear them. Cause yeah, but um, yeah, I definitely when when I uh when I lose when I lose about maybe twenty more pounds, I'll be able to fit into the other ones. Um, I'm definitely I'll definitely be wearing them. I mean, they're, they're just great looking. They're just great looking artwork. Great looking shirts. Yeah, I really think this. I really think this is gonna be a, gonna be a good book. Yeah. No, I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but no Wildcats cover got me too. Yeah, I made fun of this one. It's uh, I watched this uh, week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this book was awesome. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, and it's funny. I sold out the f before the before it even came out, um, and I ordered a ton of it because they made the book they made the book a return like a returnable book. So I just well, I'm gonna order a lot extra, and I still sold out before it came out. So yeah, one's number two. Um. Should be, should be soon. Let's see if it's next week. Well, it's not next week, I can tell you that. But yeah, it should be soon because it's been about three weeks, almost a month now. Yeah, so yeah. Yep. And usually a lot of times, a lot of times these guys, these guys will try to get, will try to get, um, uh, well, they'll try to get the book out before, you know, about the same time that the second printing comes out. So, um, they get that out early, so maybe maybe they're holding it back a little just to just to get more number ones into people's hands and 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 do it. Yeah, or maybe they expanded the print run because number one sold so well that they says, hey, we're gonna print up some. We get we're gonna print up extras of this one. Seven bucks. Love that cover. I think I have this already, but I don't think you'll ever see a movie made um, 
an origin or anything made just like the comic book. I don't I don't think you'll see that. I think they'll always be... What will they do, the Frank Miller? You no. Know, right. You know, what would the origin be? Oh, will they go back to... Fighting Hulk and Wendigo? Uh, or, <laughs> take care. Or, or even further back where they... Uh, what was it when they did the... The one that was the book that was just called Origin. Yeah, you know yeah. when he was, you know when he was a kid. Thank you. Yeah, good you know when he was just a, when he was just a kid. Yeah. You know, but um, yeah, I don't I don't see them doing anything exactly like the book. You know, I mean, Hollywood's got to have its own. You know, those those writers they have to have their own hand in it and their own, their own version. Um, Everything's got to be a universe now too. They right. Just right. Standalone movies anymore. Right. Like, Right, I'm okay with just a standalone movie. Just make a movie. It doesn't have to be Make connected. Just give yeah. me a good movie. That's why I like right. this multiverse thing. It looks like they're trying to like reset the timeline. Yeah. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. Which is cool. Right, right. That would be nice that, uh, you know, that they, that they, you know, hey, we now, hey, we're going to go back and do a Spider-Man like this, and it so doesn't matter because, yeah. right, you know, because it's now it's it's in a different universe now, um, or, or anything. I mean, so, yeah, you could go back and do an old man Logan again if you wanted to, but I mean, we know Hugh Jackman doesn't want to do that anymore. So, yeah. um, but now when you want to re when you want to recast someone too, okay, you can do, you can do that too. You can do whatever you want now. Um, as much as I'm not a multiverse fan guy, I don't really like the multiverse like in comics and whatnot, but I think in this it's good because now if you want to do a standalone movie or something, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be, um, in our universe. It can be, it can be somewhere else. Yep. Yeah. All, all I ask for, as we always says, just tell me a good story. Yeah, make it good. Right. That's all. That's all you need. Just tell a good story. I'm like Morbius. Fucking thing sucks. I haven't. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth yeah, I mean, I don't like game Morbius. Game. I don't like Morbius in the comics either. So, um, I wasn't in a rush to. I wasn't in a rush to see that movie. Anyways, um, I'll wait till it streams and I'll I'll I'll, I'll watch it. You might get through half. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've sat through worse, I think, you know, yeah. it's... Thank you. It's Perfect mint condition. All right. <clears throat> this is great. He's going to be so happy. Is he? <laughs> I'm going to stick it in his sub-file very, very carefully to keep it in a perfect 9.8 mint condition. Because he's going to send it out? Tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Is this? Well, it's Mike McNeil. He, he doesn't worry about that at all. Mike, Mike doesn't worry about that at all. Yeah. It's bent. It's bent. Yeah, you're right. You know? I just want to read. I want to read it. You know. It's... Oh, you're not supposed to throw them away when you're yeah. done. <laughs> I don't know about that shirt. That's okay. It's got Groot. All right. I kind of like it, except I. I think that's more of a Christmas shirt. You know, I do too. I mm -hmm. do too. But they look um, like Christmas cookies. Yeah, today. that's exactly that. They're, they're gingerbread Christmas cookies. Uh, my brother bought it for me, um, for my birthday. Because he goes, I can't give it to you for Christmas because you won't be able to wear it for Christmas. Um, and then, uh, um, he, so he goes, so I got it for you for birthday. And he goes, hold it off till Christmas, don't, whatever. And I, oh, I'd and, wear it anyway. And today I picked it up. Today I was, I was, I was going through and I picked it up and I said, you know, we had some, we've had some heat the pat those past few days. I wish it was, I wish it was December and cold again. So that's why I put on the, so I put on the I put on my the Christmas seat shirt. And then we woke up this morning and it was cold. It was Christmassy. Yeah. <laughs> this you want me to hold fire? Yeah, yeah, I'll All pick right. it up next week. You got it. I can't uh... Tarzan, the new adventures. Hey Ed. Hey. All right. I got that uh image anthology number oh, one. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's that been pretty. Actually, pretty good. Yeah, it's 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 sold a lot better than I thought it would too. Yeah, yeah it's been pretty good. Ninety nine dollars. What? <laughs> Is it signed by God or something? <laughs> well, these are all out of the Sunday paper, so at least you're getting them in color too. Yeah. 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 This one I don't mind. It's just pretty good. This one we this is new, right? Yep, that's new. We don't know about that. Nope. That's another new. That's a new one. But I mean, AWA puts out a lot. I of like good this products. stuff. Yep, yep, I it's, do too. They're good, yeah. you know. It was just telling him back there. You just don't, you know. This one, I kind of, I still like the story artwork lacking. Yep. This, the guy, uh, this guy, we already know who could play him, Wong from Marvel. Yeah, yeah, oh he could, yeah. He looks just like him. I yeah. was looking. I said, <laughs> did he write the book? And then. 
Uh, I like this one, even though there's no talking in it. Yeah, which yeah. is cool. And you know, it's funny. I I make fun of all the time. Um, or it usually irritates this will me. Work. But, right, it usually irritates me when there's no words. Right, but they solicited this book. There will be no words. Yeah. So for that, that doesn't bother you. Because know. They, you know before you get it, there's going to be no words. It just reminds me of the one that the dinosaur one that I liked with, with Don. No, oh, no. What's the one with the the. the what was it? The guy, he had really good artists, Italian, too. I think it was Dark Horse that put it out years ago. Okay. Yeah, he, Reptiles? No. Okay. What it might have been. I can't remember. They, there was no talking, maybe a growl or two there. Yep. And it, it was good. Was that a Steve Bissett book? It was. He did everything. As one of those guys, he did the coloring and... The, all, yeah, I don't, I don't remember. Age that. of reptiles. I can't. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, the thing. Age of reptiles. Age yeah. Of reptiles. Yeah. 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 That was I, that. That was, that was a good I, looking yeah, book. Yeah, I yeah, love the artwork. Yeah. That. <laughs> you know. <laughs> what do we know about this thing? I know absolutely nothing about it. I think there's elves in it. This one we just. Yeah, it's still. It's, it's still intri- interesting. Intri- yep. Intri- yep. It. yep. This one's kind of cute. It's kind of laughable. That yep. one. So you didn't and, grab this one? With, with, uh, oh, is this number one or two? That's number one. Oh, still. Yeah. We don't need that. Yeah. Yeah. That's still number one. Still number one. Yep. This one's that guy who's got, you don't like his don't, artwork. Yeah, I don't like his artwork at all. Different type of story. And yep. then we got that. There it is. Yep. About the uh, Ed's reviews. For yeah. <laughs> got my smile on. Yeah. Don't let, you should watch out when I'm smiling. Yeah, yeah, this, yeah. Yeah. Be wary. Be wary. <laughs> Be, wary. Be wary of the man with a handful of money. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that there was a remastered version of this. This is something I missed completely the first time around. Um, you know, it was the Alex Ross, Craig Busiek's uh, man on the street view of uh, of all the early Marvel heroes as it was happening. But instead of being told from the hero's point of view, it's told from the, uh, the man on the street view. Uh, and I missed it. I missed it the first time. The it's like decades old. Uh, Alex Ross has actually gotten a lot better. No, no, I'm saying that his current work is way better than what he did early on within Marvels. I mean, it's the same sort of like watercolor technique and live models for all of the characters. But I don't think it's quite as sophisticated as his, his current work. You know, so he got better. Uh, he's mainly doing well. Like, see. Before I was so against stuff like that, but now I mean now I really support all all the different AWA Scout Scout Comics got good stuff. Well, there was an issue of Marvels here. Oh, here we are. Yeah, that's that's his cover. So I just think the the detail, the um, his actual use of color is more sophisticated. I don't think he has any. I don't think he has any interior stuff in here. I think he's just doing the cover. Let's see. Yeah, just the cover. That's the most impressive book I've been I've been reading lately. It's uh, this is the third issue, and the um, the artwork is spectacular. You know, the real total widescreen craziness. Basically, the hand have um, resurrected uh, Frank Castle's wife, but he has to sort of serve them in return for the favor. Favor. So he's. So he's like their um, their supreme leader now, but um, there's some cracks in the uh, you know in the whole you know plot because um, his his wife has been resurrected, but she sort of doesn't remember. She's starting to remember that she had kids and wondering what happened to the kids. And it looks like Castle is going to have to make another deal to get the uh, the kids back, also. So, so this is um, probably the best book I've read in years. It's, it's, you know, the art is terrific and the story is great. And the um, the flashback sequences, which sort of reveal 
uh, Castle's childhood are done in a, by the same artist, but they're done in a, a simpler, more basic style. You know? But it's still, you know, good storytelling. You know? So this is, this is my like favorite book at the moment. <laughs> you know, like the, uh, the door? Did you read it? The closet? I haven't read it yet. No, it no, yet. I haven't had a chance. Yeah. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Yeah, but. yeah, no, no doubt, no yeah. doubt. I'll take a, ch I'll take a shot of, uh, if it's going to be. I'll, I'll have people review reviews before I, I tie in on another, uh, yeah. on another book. I got to keep up on. I got, I, I'm, <laughs> I've got a good feeling it is because, I mean, I make fun of the that. I make fun of the author said, all the time. He said that, yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But he's written some really good stuff. Yeah, too. yeah. You know, well, I'm not, I'm not taking that away from. Him. I'm making, actually making, making fun of his name. Yeah, you know, it's because uh, he's got to put it the fourth on it all the time. You know, right. it's, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you read the first one and, and it's good, then that's worthy of reading at least that one book. Mm -hmm. But sometimes, you know, go two or three books and it'll fall off. Oh yeah, yep, it happens. Yeah. It happens. Hopefully not with this one. It seemed, looked pretty good, but I think uh, Donny Cates is great for that. Oh yeah. Yeah, well, it seems like he, he gets a good start off the books, but they just don't finish well. And the only thing interesting going on, really, is the, um, for DC, is definitely the, the White Knight series. Yeah. You know, and, and um, my um, mother of my son, she hangs around with the mother of, of, um, of Murphy. Sean Murphy, yeah. 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 So I've had a whole bunch of books signed. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's local. I mean, he's he a local is, guy. Yeah, I think yeah. he's in New Hampshire yeah, somewhere. I've had some books signed, but, you know, read them first and have them signed, then yep. Megan Boyd. Preserve them. Yep. Thank you, Glenn. All right, thank you. And when this guy, when this guy comes in, the whole store smells. It's, uh, it's bad. And he said he was coming in today. He's usually here right at 1. So... What do you tell him? I mean, he's uh, he should have someone that a friend or a friend or a uh, or maybe even a relative that he sees to say, hey, "Dude, you just need to take a shower once in a while." You know, it's I mean, it's not it's not my place. You know, it's I mean, I don't want to embarrass him, but no one else no one else wants to stand next to him either. You know, it's uh, but I mean, I don't know him well enough to say, "Hey, dude, you smell like shit." If it's something like Corey or whatever, I can say, "Hey, you need to you need to put a stick of deodorant on, buddy." Do something, you know, it's, uh, but, but yeah, I guess he's not coming in today. So I'll prepare tomorrow instead, you know, it's, uh, you all set? Yeah, I think so.